We've also uh, announced uh, XVM, which is our hypervisor, or rather, our virtualization technology. And um, there's a lot of preconceived notions about virtualization. It, it's new, it's not new. Um, it, it's associated principally today with uh, server consolidation and uh, consolidation of simple workloads. Uh, I, I want to share for a moment our perspective at Sun that is a strict superset of that, of that notion of server consolidation which is one of um, a much more a dynamic and fluid data center. And the needs for um, IT organizations or large-scale web farms and web-facing organizations uh, to build out um, data centers that have the property of rapid evolution, of fluidity or of dynamicism, that allow new applications to be deployed, new topologies of networks to be created. And, and the only way to do that is to create a separation between the physical and virtual uh, infrastructure, the software and the hardware of that data center, so that they can realize these dynamic properties. So uh, Sun XVM is the embodiment of that context, uh, of, of that thought from Sun. It, it's uh, comprised of hypervisor technology and management tools that are the foundation for building out dynamic data centers. It can certainly do the things that you're used to, which is uh, hosting of uh, a variety of workloads, whether it's Windows, Linux, or Solaris, or all together um, on a system to focus specifically on server consolidation issues. But we're also looking out towards the property of um, uh, building dynamic data centers so that you can uh, create the kind of systems and evolve them quickly in a non-brittle fashion that all IT organizations need to do. And in that regard, we really have three focal points for the program. One is uh, the core type one hypervisor technology itself. It's, it's built on the Zen technology, but it has a, a, uh, a major change that we've made available in open source, which is you know, based on a, a, a simple notion that um, all type one hypervisors include um, an operating system kernel. They, they must do so to operate. And we have the idea that if we could um, introduce um, a kernel that is as sophisticated as the Solaris kernel with regard to its properties like ZFS or um, FMA fault management architecture, uh, um, CrossGo or network virtualization, as part of the hypervisor itself, what we could do is export those properties to all of the guest operating systems, whether they're Solaris, Linux, or Windows, running on that hypervisor. So remarkably, um, when we release XVM server uh, uh, around June of this year, um, operating systems like Windows will be able to run ZFS. They'll, they'll run ZFS by making um, I.O. calls through the hypervisor, which will be running a ZFS uh, file system under it. So all the great features and functions of Solaris then get um, exported upward to the guest operating systems. Um, as virtualization continues to grow, though, one of the big challenges is the sprawl of uh, what used to be servers will now be virtual servers and the scale and complexity of the virtualized environments. And so as important as the virtualization machinery itself is the management tools and techniques to manage that virtual data center. And so um, we are investing uh, in, in, equal, um, uh, in equal effort or equal amounts our energy into something called XVM Op Center, which is a complete set of data center automation tools that deals with the physical and virtual uh, world from resource management, patching updates, firmware management, uh, live migration of technologies itself. And then finally, as I talked about um, the virtual box technology, it's really important that developers be able to, on their, in their workspace, on their laptop, on an airplane at 40,000 feet, work in an environment that closely resembles the environment on which they'll deploy. And it also is requ required for um, your single machine to be able to run a wide variety of operating systems that are the basis for the deployment of platforms upon which you'll uh, be running in the data center. And so the virtual box technology allows us uh, both those values for developers. One, multiple operating systems running as a Type 2 hypervisor on your laptop or on your desktop. But the model that we foresee is being able to slide the virtual instances that are essentially an encapsulation of the data center applications to the server world, world moving from virtual box hypervisor to XVM hypervisor over the network. And so you build in this virtual world and you migrate to the deployment world using virtualization technology from laptop to server. And that's, that's one of the driving functions behind the acquisition of 
um, Intertech. Intertech. Intertech is a uh, small um, open source company in Germany who builds a uh, desktop a Type 2 hypervisor offering, a virtualization technology for the desktop, much like uh, Parallels or VMware Desktop. Um, and it's a, an, an incredibly important component of our developer story and our overall um, virtualization plan, as well as our opportunity to scale the access and reach of Open Solaris itself. Um, they're one of the top rated virtualization, uh, desktop type two virtualization companies. Um, and it, it just continues to build on the momentum we've realized as you know the largest open source company in the world. But this all fits very nicely into our virtualization plans with XVM and our Open Solaris uh, plans in providing another simple distribution vehicle for our key technologies most important in the near term open, near term open solar so we'll be talking a lot about that as this comes to fruition yesterday was the announcement of the uh, definitive agreement it's free the reach that you can get in terms of both developers and consumers is unlike any of the other desktop virtualization products out there Wait, how, how much does it cost and let me think the price is zero so um <laughs> or it's approximately zero how does that compare to the competition um, well, division by zero, um, not a number. So, uh, so uh, it, you know, open source and zero dollars uh, just um, catalyzes the scale and reach that we can garner as a result of the business model that is VirtualBox. Also, if you read the reviews that probably many of you have written, um, it's a, an extremely highly rated product. Um, the optimization technology, the combinatorics, the number of operating systems it supports times the number of oper operating systems upon which it runs um, is extraordinary, and we're going to extend that very aggressively to Solaris and Open Solaris. It's already available. In fact, uh, download uh, Solaris support uh, on their site.